بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از می ساقب علی شاہ اینڈ ٹو ڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریویو دا ٹاپک آف کیش بک اسٹوڈنٹس دس ٹاپک از ویری مچ امپورٹنٹ فار دا پیپر پوائنٹ آف ویو ان یور فائنل پیپر سیکشن سی پارٹ ون اے کوشچن آف کیش بک ول مسٹ کم اینڈ اٹ ول کمس آف ٹوینٹی مارکس سو اے بک ان وچ آل دوز ٹرانزیکشنس ان وچ دا کیش از انوالو آر ریکارڈیڈ از کالڈ کیش بک But one thing you should remember always that in the cash book we will not record the credit transactions. We will only record the cash transactions. Students, here it is necessary to clear that the cash book is different from cash account. The cash account we always prepared in the ledger in which the posting is done from the journal while the cash book is a separate book in which the posting is done directly from the transaction. the cash book is a subsidiary book because all the cash transactions are first of all recorded in it but here there is a question and sometimes this question also comes in the mcqs that the cash book is a subsidiary journal or subsidiary ledger the answer is the cash book is subsidiary journal and ledger because it fulfill the requirement of journal and ledger at the same time we have four kinds of cash book simple double column cash book triple column cash book and petty cash book now we will see all these types of cash book one by one the first is simple column cash book or single column cash book this is a cash book in which we will record only the cash transaction the format of this kind of cash book is in front of you on your screen the next is or the second is double column cash book in this kind of cash book two columns one is for the cash and the other is for the bank are provided on each side of the cash book the format of this kind of cash book is also in front of you on your screen kindly check it students the third and the most important kind of cash book is triple column cash book in this kind of cash book the three columns the one is for the cash the second is for the bank and the third is for the discount are provided on each side of the cash book the format of this kind of cash book is in front of you on your screen you can check it and the most important thing is in your final paper the question related to triple column cash book will come students one thing you must remember here that in cash book the cash columns represent the cash account and it must have a debit balance but the bank column may have a debit or credit balance here it is necessary to give you the concept of contra entry students you all know that during the preparation of the cash book we will enter the amount of every transaction in the cash book only at one time only at one side only at one place but there are some transactions in which the amount of these transaction we will record on both the side of the cash book on the same time one time debit and the second type credit and these transactions are called contra entry transactions and the example of these transactions are in front of you on your screen now let's understand the example of triple column cash book the first transaction is cash in hand and cash at bank the amount of both of these transaction will come on the debit side the next is cash sale the amount of this transaction you will record on the debit side in the cash column why because during the sale we always receive the amount the next is paid into bank and this is the contract entry and you will record the amount of this transaction on both the side of the cash book the next is received a check from x whenever we will receive the check from someone we always record the amount on the debit side but the amount you will record on the in the cash column on the debit side the next is number 12 paid into the bank the check received from x now again this is a contra entry and you will record the amount on both side of the cash book first you will take out the amount from the cash column and then you will deposit the amount into the bank and the next is number 15 receive check and allow him discount again we are receiving the check so we will record the amount on the debit side and we will record the discount on the same side also on the debit side on the same side where we are recording the amount the next is number 18 
paid by check and allow him discount now here he is using the word paid this means the amount now you will record on the credit side in the bank column and the discount again you will record on the same side mean on the credit side the next is cash purchase and you all know that during the purchase we always pay the cash so again the amount of transaction number 25 we will record on the credit side in the cash column the last is number 25 now again this is a counter entry and you will record the amount of 6000 the amount of this transaction that is 6000 on both side of the cash book now let's see the solution of this example students in this way you will solve the question of the triple column cash book check it carefully the last kind of cash book is petty cash book this is a book in which the small payments which are not convenient to record in the main cash book are recorded in this book thank you students for watching this video i hope this video will help you in the solution of short as well as the long questions